Hello, so I figured I'd do a little update on how my tomatoes are doing. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to talk about my uh, two problem children that I call them. So the first one is this Champion 2 tomato plant that I got. Um, I didn't realize when I bought it that it actually started off as um, two separate plants or two um, like branches, I guess you could say, two main stems. Um, so I'm actually going to have to add a second string, and I haven't... Um, strung them up much because they haven't really been you know growing as much as the other ones so I'm not sure how this one is going to go but uh, I'm going to do the best I can with it um, it does actually have some flowers coming in so that's good at least um, but it's uh, definitely a lot uh, thicker plant I guess you could say more flowers or more leaves than the other ones um, so we'll kind of see the progress on how that one does um, the other one we uh, had some really hot weather and my tomatoes really jumped and I did not catch a sucker. <laughs> so now I have um, two main stems growing on this one. So I will be adding a second string so that way I can support this branch that's going up. But it already has flowers for tomatoes so I am not going to um, get rid of it like I would the other suckers. Um, so I'm just going to let this one get a little bit bigger. Um, this one is a uh, beefsteak so I don't mind uh, getting some extra large tomatoes anyway, so I think it'll work out fine. But that is one uh, thing if you want to keep your tomato plants more just the one main stem to get rid of those suckers because they will take off and just become, you know, quite a bit bigger of a plant than I expected, but it will be fine in the long run. Um, but otherwise, uh, the rest of the tomatoes are doing really, really well. Um, gotten quite a bit taller. Um, I've had to add in some extra supports. I have quite a few flowers already. Just kind of go around all the ones that are in here. And the drip system has been going really great. Uh, we've been having 90 degree weather and absolutely no rain. So I've been running it for an hour each morning and it does uh, dry out during the day. Um, it stays a little bit more moist in the greenhouse, obviously, because it traps the humidity. But it's not, like, sopping wet, um, so it's they're doing really great. One little thing, I noticed a little bulge in my uh, weed barrier. And we had planted some potatoes last year, and they decided to come up in a spot where we thought we'd gotten them all. So I have some potatoes growing now in the back. Uh, so I moved one of the uh, sprinkler drip emitters, so that way he gets some water. And then there's another one that's kind of... It, I don't know if it's going to make it, but we'll see what happens with that one back there. But So we'll have some extra potatoes. The rest of them are in a row out front. And then these are my cherry tomatoes. Uh, let's see, that's just a uh, super sweet. And then this is a tomato red. This one's gotten really big. And then I also got the um, sun sugar, the, the orange cherry tomatoes. So yeah, so overall they are doing great and I will keep you guys updated.